Brothers and sisters, please give a warm welcome to a great friend of the AFT, Representative Eleanor Holmes Norton. Thank you, AFT. I am as proud to be with AFT teachers today as I was when my mother, Vila Holmes, was spending her entire career as a teacher and as a counselor in the DC public schools and a member of this union. I am especially proud to be a graduate of the DC public schools. Now, I am not one for blind sentimentality or even blind loyalty, but uh, my good friends, my brothers and sisters of the AFT, I got to see a real teacher at work, not at school, but at home, where my mother continued to do her school work long after she left Neville Thomas Elementary School and the other schools where she taught in this town. So you don't have to convince me of the tireless dedication of people who teach our children. I lived with that dedication in my own home and learn dedication from a teacher. But today, all of the problems of American society have crowded, converged uh, into the classroom. Poverty, family breakdown, community disorganization. Uh, many actors are responsible but they are dispersed. They live in an anonymity. They are difficult to pin down, but aha, there's one. So teachers become the easy target. Uh, and to its credit, the AFT has not passed the buck. You have taken up the challenge. And this is a challenge that goes beyond the traditional role of a great trade union or even of a teacher. The challenge uh, is to become a partner in the reform of education itself. Now that's a particularly difficult role for a union to play. Support and protect your members, then help reform the institution of which you are a part well, management wants help, but usually on its own terms. Um, the AFT, um, however, is not responding to management when it puts uh, its ideas into education reform. It is playing its ind indispensable part in education reform. Now, Think about it, if schools are where most children learn, it really comes down to two sets of people, children and teachers. There is no way to be for children and against teachers. <laughs> Reform won't take, it certainly won't last, if we pose the issue as it is often posed today. Either you are for the teacher or you're for the children. Nonsense. Education works only if we support and strengthen teachers so that they can do the same for our children. Yeah. 